Our aerial reconnaissance of the Central Coast Ranges begins as we fly over Santa Maria and the Santa Maria River and Pismo Beach towards Montaña de Oro. San Luis Obispo is to the right and Morro Bay is passing beneath us. Next, Cayucos and Whale Reservoir. Then Cambria, Point Piedras Blancas and San Simeon Bay and the Big Sur Coast. The Santa Lucia plunges to the Pacific Ocean. North of Ragged Point, the Big Sur Coast leads us northwards to Pfeiffer Point and Point Sur, where we begin a slow turn towards the east over Carmel Bay and the Monterey Peninsula. At Elkhorn Slough and Moss Landing, we began turning south. Flying southward over Salinas and up the Salinas Valley. The Gavilan Range is on our left and the Sierra de Salinas on our right. The complex valleys and ridges of the San Andreas Fault Zone are to the far left. As we approach San Ardo, Lake San Antonio and Nacimiento appear on the right. Then Paso Robles, Templeton, and Atascadero. Ahead of us lie the Panza Mountains and Garcia Mountain. On the left, the Carrizo Plain. The San Andreas Fault System defines the western edge of the Tembler Range. Next, the Cuyama Valley, bounded by the Caliente Range on the left and the Sierra Madre on the right. The San Rafael Mountains. And finally, the transverse ranges in Southern California. Flying north, we follow the route of U.S. Highway 101. Again, we cross the San Rafael Mountains. The Carrizo Plain is on our right. As we pass San Luis Obispo and again approach Templeton, Paso Robles, and Atascadero. The San Andreas Rift Zone here is very, very evident, running diagonally from the lower right to the upper left of the view. pass over the Gablin Mesa, approach the Gabalon Mountains, beyond which in the far distance lies the San Francisco Bay Estuary. Salinas passes to the left, we pass over Hollister on the right, Castroville on the left, and as we head north through the structural depression bounded by the San Andreas Rift Zone on the left and the Hayward Fault on the right, that's the east, we turn to look at the Berkeley Hills. We continue our turn around the mountains of the East Bay, passing over Vallejo and the Carquinas Strait, 
Susun Bay, the Concord Walnut Creek urban area, making almost a complete circuit around Mount Diablo. And now we head south. Passing the Livermore Valley on our right, the Diablo Range, following more or less the route of Interstate 5, connecting the San Francisco Bay Area and Los Angeles, we approach San Luis Reservoir. Panoche Hills pass beneath us, and then Monocline Ridge. Ahead of us, San Benito Mountain and New Idria, a well known mining district. Then the San Joaquin Ridge and Pleasant Valley. Coalinga is passing beneath us now, and the Cattleman Hills show up as a low anticline separated by the Cattleman Valley from the main Central Coast Ranges. The Antelope Plain passes beneath us as we follow the Tembler Range and the San Andreas Rift Zone southwards. The Elk Hills Pass on the lower left, Midway Valley, Taft and Maricopa. As we approach Blue Ridge and Mount Pinos, the San Andreas fault system turns to the east-southeast. 